Amazing Grace is another person's fast with Toy Story. Yeah. Amazing Grace is another person's fast with Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Amazing Grace is another person's fast with Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of fast food toys. Yeah, baby. Okay. <laughs> so I'm here once again to tell you how they're amazing and stupendous and oh inspiring Percy's fast food toy story. And so for today, boy have I got a toy for you. Well, <laughs> the toy is basically from Burger King because right now I'm wearing the Burger King crown. Wow, this is a wonderful uh, this is very pretty. It's actually made of cardboard. <laughs> well, these were given away by Burger King for free, so whenever you do buy, they were just uh, uh, there at the table for your picking. So I sort of uh, got a couple of these. Yeah, since I'm <laughs> I'm such a fan of Burger King as well as the toys. Unfortunately, nowadays we hardly have any Burger King toys. Uh, I think they've completely derelicted the whole idea of having a kid meal altogether, which is um, uh, a little sad because uh, sometimes, you know, the Burger King Philippines do come up with a lot of amazing uh, toys for their Burger King meals. Uh, yeah, but I do believe there are still some other countries, like in the United States, that still produce some Burger King uh, kitty meals and they give away all of the toys just like this one. Wow, isn't this awesome? Are you familiar with this? And this is rather big, I mean compared to the other uh, kitty meals or fast food toys that we get, this is actually very big. Normally, a Happy Meal, like this for example, would be the normal Happy Meal or the fast food toy, but this is big, look at that. This is like a full uh, action figure. Okay, now, based on the tags here, it's from Burger King uh, Disney. Uh, what year? Okay, so probably this was released um, simultaneously with the release of the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And as we all know, this is <clears throat> one of the main characters in that film. This is Phoebus. Phoebus? <laughs> is it Phoebus? Yeah, this is Phoebus. It's spelled P-H-E-B-U-S. -E okay, this uh, basically was the love interest of Esmeralda, played by Demi Moore. Okay, so this is pretty awesome. Look at that. This is made of vanilla. The face is actually made of uh, vanilla material as well. Uh, the hands are... Oh yeah, and this is uh, a little yeah, vanilla as well. And then the lower portion, it's also made of vanilla. As well as the breastplate, the knight's breastplate, as well as the feet. Now some other parts of the body is actually made of plush. Okay, so it's basically made of clothing as well as this portion of the feet. And then at the back, if you notice, that there are some holes here. And I think we, you can put your fingers there so that you can actually move it as though you would manipulate a puppet. Pup <laughs> Who's that uh, puppeteer in Cosimo? I think it's uh, Frollo. Oh no, uh, Clopin. Okay, so there's a clown there, uh, something like uh, someone like uh, who can do mimes and do a lot of puppeteering there as part of their act. Okay, now we have our own puppet of Peebles, one of the good guys in the film Hunchback of Notre Dame, um, produced by Disney. Okay, oh, so, so you, more, you more or less know, more or less know when uh, it was actually released. Okay, so this is Peebles. Good evening. Good morning. <laughs> I am Phoebus. I uh, happen to be a friend of Cosimo. Uh, uh, really, um, Danny, a very good guy. Okay, so I'm here to tell you that we shouldn't judge um, people by their external looks. How about it's essential as in this <laughs> Okay, so that is great. So uh, I think the kids will definitely have a grand time playing or practicing their own puppeteering skills using this particular toy from Burger King. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, United States, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, I'm just glad that I was able to actually acquire this and add to my collection because this is uh, such a wonderful and amazing uh, character. But yeah, I've had a lot of wonderful memories about Fossil Mozo. Uh, I love the music. I think it was. Uh, Boys to Men. Was it Boys to Men? Someday, when we are wiser, when the world's stronger. I think it's a boy band, but the song was so wonderful and very unforgettable as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> and I just love the characters from Quasimodo, Esmeralda, uh, Clopin, uh, and the Gargoyles, uh, uh, Victor, Hugo, and Laverne. <laughs> I still remember those, of course, uh, and uh, who could forget about Phoebus, this uh, knight in shining armor in the life of Esmeralda as well as uh, Quasimodo. Okay, for a time I think they were competing for the heart of Esmeralda. I think both uh, Quasimodo and Phoebus were trying to woo or trying to win the heart of Esmeralda. Well, of course, in the end, uh, Quasimodo sort of gave in because I think uh, Phoebus and Esmeralda are meant to be with each other. Okay, so this is great. Now I must say, this is just an amazing grace. So once again, guys, let's try to be thankful to God for all the amazing grace that come into our lives. Be in the form of a Phoebus toy, this puppet, Phoebus finger puppet, <laughs> from Burger King in the United States. Okay, so this is from the film Quasimodo, uh, I mean The Hunchback of Notre Dame by uh, Disney. Or, uh, basically guys, let's be thankful for every amazing grace, be they small or big, be they seemingly insignificant, or the truly thankful ones, or just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly. And I thank you guys for always tuning in for, to Percy's Fast with Toy Story. Thank you to the new subscribers. Please tell your friends to subscribe because we still have a lot more Percy's Fast with Toy Stories up my sleeves. So until the next one, bye bye, see you around, bye.